Hey, good morning. Jeremy Bates here for Buffalo Modular Homes. We're here in Alden, New York, and behind me is a 1,000 square foot, two bedroom, one bath, open concept, uh, Cape Chalet. And you can see it has a, a very steep roof pitch. And you can see that the kitchen has a little bump out over here, which adds a nice a little bit of uh, architectural value uh, on the home. It's, uh, it's a 1212 Cape roof, which means that upstairs it will be available for future use and future finishing. And um, keep in mind that for any of these ranch floor plans, ranch being a single floor floor plan, any of them can have this 1212 roof. And uh, the standard for a ranch would be a 512 roof in New York State for us. And, uh, but you can uh, elect to have a 1212 roof put on any ranch. So any ranch plan um, that you might want to have uh, finishable space in the attic, maybe as opposed to a full basement finished space, uh, we can do that. So keep that in mind. But we are getting close to completion on this house. And so I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the interior to show you uh, what it's uh, looking like right now. You can see that the, the siding is almost done. Uh, you can see that it is on a poured, cement poured foundation. Uh, in this case, it's only a crawl space. And so it's not a, a full height foundation. The customer here only wanted uh, a half wall that we call a crawl space. And so uh, any future space for future use for him will be upstairs. But let's do a walkthrough, see how we're coming so along. So the first thing before we go inside, I wanna point out is that this is a pretty typical setup that we would do for uh, front steps as uh, there's a landing oftentimes required before going into the house. So a lot of times on the front door or even on the back door, depending on what township you're in, um, you might only want a couple steps down, but if it's uh, above a certain height, above grade, you may in fact be required to put this landing before you go into the house and then have your stairs down. And in this case, with railings around it. And so depending on what the future use uh, that you wanna have for a front porch or, um, or a back porch, we wanna consider that uh, what the building code require, uh, requires in your area and build something um, uh, appropriately to building code, but also to consider your future use of space. Let's go inside. Okay, going inside here, we see that the units have been uh, opened up and that we are seaming and stitching the two boxes together. That's what we call it. We call this the marriage wall. And we are seaming and stitching the modules. And you can see in this case, there's a dropped header and we are drywalling and mudding this seam here together so that once it's done, this will just be one open concept kitchen living room and nook. Here is the kitchen. And we're just going through right now, making sure all the quality is done, uh, doing some quality control inspects. As we're finishing this, checking drawers and cabinetry, um, checking windows and trim making sure everything uh, operates properly. There's no defective windows or parts. If there are, we'll try to get those ordered in advance, well in advance so that um, when we're done with the, the, the house, we've operated pretty well everything and we're aware of any, any deficiencies and we've corrected uh, any deficiencies prior to handover. You can see there's LED lights in the ceiling those are really nice. A lot of people are doing those these days. And uh, let me just step back, step back just a little bit so you can see the open concept here. Wise, we have linoleum and carpet. You can see there's linoleum and carpet. We have a Formica countertop, and we have uh, this is an oak wood, a dark oak stained wood. And then going in through the house here, 
To my left is gonna be the furnace closet because it's on a crawl space. And to my right here is the bathroom. So this is a, the standard full bath and a small 1,000 square foot house. You may only have room for one vanity. And in this case, we have a tub shower combo and uh, just moving into bedroom, back bedroom number two. Pretty standard, typical bedroom here with a ceiling back light. Bedroom. Uh, the, the, the main bedroom in the back here. Now you can see that, I'll just do a slow pan, double windows. And you can see that the boxes here, the, the modules come together um, at the doorway here. And so this is the closet door. You can see that we're uh, preparing to stitch and seam these two modules together here at the closet. And once it's done, you won't uh, be able to tell that that's where the stitch point is. See the doors are smooth white six panel doors with brushed nickel hardware. Okay, from the living room, we're gonna go up the stairs and our guys are working upstairs right now. This will be uh, carpeted stairs up to a, uh, this will be a finished stairwell up and at the top of the stairs, hey Brian, this will be uh, a door here at the top of the stairs. And then all of this, now this is the reason to do a 12-12 cape attic roof. You can see that there's just a ton of space up here. You can finish it for, you know, really anything. The standard in our cape packages come with uh, plumbing, supply lines, and drain lines stubbed out. Typically, they're going to be right over here below the insulation. That's where you're going to find your, um, according to the blueprints, you'll find the stub outs for your electric and uh, water supply and water drain lines. And then you'll be able to insulate the walls and ceiling. This Eight is a foot full. height ceiling here. And you can see that uh, the stairs up is going to be insulated and finished. That'll be a finished stairwell up with the door at the top of the stairs there. 